came for you came for the same tribe as Moses. That's right. That's right. You look as far as your father will look just like Moses if he was here. That's if he was here, he looked just like Moses. The complexion and everything. That's right. He's the same line as Moses. And guess what? You have the same bloodline. That's, That's right. right. According to the Bible, the Bible says that. Do you understand that? Now, I'm going to show you more how a woman's supposed to dress. Give me your titles. Because this is how a woman is, you know, Timothy. I look down. Read it. I'm going to show you how God tells a woman to dress. Read. First Timothy chapter 2, verse 9. You know? In like manner also, that woman. That who? That woman. Like we said, so like manner also, that woman. So the women are supposed to do this. Read. That woman adorned themselves. In modest apparel. Do you know what modest means? Modest apparel? That's right. Not too revealing. Because believe it or not, we can see as far as the shape of your body. We're not supposed to see that. You also say, listen, I want you to be modest. Modest, read. With shame faceness. With shame faceness, read. And sobriety. And sobriety, read off. Not with burning hair. Read. Or gold. Or pearls. Or costly array. So God is saying, I don't want you to be all about the beauty of this. But I need you to be modest. That's right. Be beautiful. But not make that a pedestal. Don't make yourself being so beautiful above anything else. What's supposed to be above is you keep it God's law. Right. So now we read that what he's supposed to be modest, right? Now let's get more law. Give me numbers. So on the dress that you're supposed to be wearing, these are more commandments. How are you supposed to be? Get it. Give me that. Uh, no, I don't want that. Give me this one. Give me this one. Because this is what we show up. Because back in the days, the, our foremothers never used to wear a pants. They never used to wear a pants. It started coming out back in the days. Right. Uh, let's see some photos right here. Oh, no. no not that. Right here. You see our sister. They had the bottom of her as wearing a skirt. You see that? But they were taking her because what? They were selling to slavery. Now read this. Read it. Numbers chapter 15, verse 38. Speak unto the children of Israel, which is you, read, and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garment. In the borders of their garment. So we supposed to wear fringes. Now here's an example. We have fringes here. Here's an example of the, our brothers and the American Indians was wearing this as well. You can see. Now look at, hold on, so we pick that up again. So now I want to show you again our foremothers were in skirts. Look, this is the, um, the time of slavery. And believe it or not, in Haiti, our people, our women still wear skirts, right? Does your mother wear a skirt? Does your grandmother wear a skirt? Wonder why? Because they know it, it was never a custom to wear pants. That's right. It was never a custom. Now give it back. Nope, give it back to uh, the Roman 22 and 5. They understood as a woman how they're supposed to be dressed. So now as you come to God, there's a way that you're supposed to be dressed. Read that again. Just, I, the only reason why I keep iterating it and bring it out so you can understand. And make sure you know what to do. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 22 verse 5. Get out. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Because what a lot of our sisters, when we show them this, they hear it. When they go back home, they're like, you know what? I don't want to do it. But I'm going to say you might not have dresses at home. You speak to your mother or your grandmother. They know where to get dresses. Hey, come on. Hey, mom. I would like some dresses. Can you help me get them? I don't have money. Can you just help me buy one? And upon that modest that you put in, you listen to a God say. Right. You know what happened when you do that? Give me uh, um, Acts. Acts 319. I'm going to show you. So you put it on a dress, you put on fringes in the border in blue, you do what God says. That's right. That's and I'm going to show you. This is what he's saying here. Read. Acts chapter 3, verse 19. Get out. Repent. What? Repent. Repent means to change. That's what God said. Hey, change the way you dress. Change the way you think. Right. Change the way you call yourself. Because believe it or not, you're not a Haitian. That's, that's what God said. Repent. Whatever they call you in this world, that's not who God calls you. Right. So he's telling you to repent. Get out of the way. Stop calling yourself that. Right. Stop dressing yourself as that. Do what I told you. Read it again. Repent, ye therefore, and be converted. That's and right. be converted. Give me this control convert. As far as change. That's what we are to show people to change. The condition.
position that they in is not good. Right. Our people is on the bottom. Right. Right. Look at Haiti. Right. Our people's on the bottom. Right. Our people is suffering from poverty. They don't, we went over there not too long ago. How long ago we went? About a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, yeah. Our people went. We went out there not to just look at our people. We went out there to teach them, to show them who they are. Show them, listen, you are God chosen people. We understand what poverty you in, but you gotta offer that to God first. Right. That's what we're showing you. Read that. So, chapter 19, verse 7. The law of the Lord is perfect. God's laws is perfect. God's laws is the only way out. You understand that, sis? That's what we went to Haiti to show our people. You understand that, sis? We are here showing that God's chosen people are the so-called blacks and men. We're showing how women are supposed to conduct themselves. How they're supposed to go to God. Read that again. Psalms chapter 19, verse 7. The law of the Lord is perfect. So we just read that God's laws are perfect. Because in the churches, they don't say that. They say that God's laws are done away. But we read it here, God's law changes. Change your community. Change the way you think. Change the way how you were raised. Change the way you were dressed. Because according to the Bible, you ain't supposed to wear pants. Read that again. The law of the Lord is perfect. Converting the soul. Converting your soul. Because when we out here showing you, listen, God say, you're supposed to dress like this. Right. It converts your soul. Oh, man. You know what? I used to think that God told me, I got to change. I got to listen to what he said. What he say is right. Look, what do you say that? That's right. Because he's the only one that gave us his Bible. Gave us his own. I'm going to get that next. Yeah, get that. I hope. So, chapter 18, verse 30. You know, as for God, his way is perfect. Read that again. As for God, his way is perfect. Now, get me back. Now, hold this. I want to get back to this. Hold it. Read that again. Psalms chapter 19, verse 7. You know, the law of the Lord is perfect. The law of God is perfect. Read. Converting the soul. Changing itself. Read. The testimony of the Lord is sure. Yeah. Making wise the simple. Making wise is simple. Now, get me back to Psalms 18. Making wise is simple. Showing our people who they are. Showing them the right way. Because once again, God is going to repeat it again. Read. Psalms chapter 18, verse 30. As for God, His way is perfect. Now, how God's ways is perfect? Because we, I'm um, telling you that what? You're supposed to leave them pants and come to the skirt. Right. How, how is that perfect? Because believe it or not, our sisters, when they wear pants, they get a lot of diseases over them. Infections. And now in that pants, it puts a manly spirit on them. Right. Have you ever heard in the house? Oh, oh, who wears a pants in the house? That's considered, who, who got the most authority in the house? Right. And this society today, they put women on a pedestal. Right. They put a woman above men. That's right. God says no. God said a woman is not above a man. A man is above a woman. But that's what we out here teach you. Nope, give it back to Psalm 18. We'll read that again. So, chapter 18, verse 30. Get out. As for God. His way is perfect. The word of the Lord is dry. It's dry, read. He is a buckler to all those that trust in him. He is a savior to all those that trust in him. That's what we are telling our people. He's supposed to trust in God. Not in no one else, but to God. Because God is the only, you understand? God, laws, what gives you life. Give me that promise. God's laws will give you life. Because this is, the things that you're leaving today ain't bringing you anything. It's just, exactly. It's just a similar to all. Right, say that again. Uh, just bring it uh, as far as Proverbs 7 and 2. Read it. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 7, verse 2. This what we show you is God's word gives you life. That's His word. commandments, when you hearken unto it, when you listen, when you apply His law, gives you life. Read that. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 7, verse 2. Yeah. Keep my commandments. What God said? Keep my commandments and stop. God says to keep his commandments. Right. For you put it on a skirt with fringes and put it on a blue. That's saying keep my commandments. Right. Keep the Sabbath. Right. Read that. Keep my commandments and live. That's so right. God said keep my commandments and live. Give me 1 Corinthians 11. 
keep my commandments in them. So far, we have shown you who you are according to the Bible, correct? Who you are? A Levi. That's right. You know you say that you are God's chosen people. That's right. You acknowledge that God came through you. Right. That this Bible here is for you. Right. That right there, God loves. God is saying, oh, she's listening to me. Say that again. She understands my words. Right. She understands that my ways are better than anyone's way. That's right. 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 Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.